Hey everyone, welcome to Gimme Lemons. Today I wanted to introduce you to a delicious and comforting dish that Koreans typically eat for New Year's called dakuk, made with these thin oval rice cakes available in most Korean supermarkets. My version is a bit unusual in that I used anchovies rather than the beef broth that you typically see, but this is how my mom always made it and it makes for a very light, clean tasting dish. So let's start by soaking the duck or rice cakes in some cold water for at least half an hour. Now for the broth, you'll want to remove the heads and guts from the anchovies since they tend to be a bit bitter. I like to roast them briefly over medium heat until they're lightly browned. This tends to lend a deeper flavor to the broth. Now we'll take one onion and a head of garlic and simply halve them. I like to lightly scorch the onion in a dry pot over medium heat for a deeper roasted flavor. I don't mind keeping the skin on the onion, but you can remove it if you'd like a lighter colored broth. Once the onion is slightly scorched, add water to the pot along with some tashima or dried kelp and the garlic. And I like to scrape the bottom of the pot to loosen the caramelized bits from the onion. Now you can add the roasted anchovies and bring everything to a boil. As it heats up, skim off any scum that comes to the surface for a cleaner broth. As soon as it starts to boil, turn down the heat to low and let it seep for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Meanwhile, you can prepare the garnishes. Heat up some neutral oil on medium high and saute some ground beef, breaking it up into small pieces. You want to underseason it with just a small pinch of salt and some pepper. Cook out the liquid, then add mirin a sweet Japanese rice wine which I love cooking with. And cook out the alcohol for a minute. Add soy sauce. Reduce the heat to medium and continue to reduce the liquid and concentrate the flavor into the meat. Finally, add some minced garlic. Taste. Adjust the seasoning and set it aside. Next, we'll make the egg. Whisk one egg well and season it with salt and pepper. Heat a pan to medium with some neutral oil. When the pan is nice and warm, add the egg and cook low and slow, just until it's set. The second side needs only to touch the pan, then remove it and let it cool before cutting it into thin julienne slices. A word of note about this dish, Koreans usually eat dakguk to celebrate the lunar new year called Seolnal, which takes place sometime between January and February. But being Korean American, my mom always made dakuk on the Gregorian New Year's Day, and now it's become a tradition for me and my kids as well. We'll also prepare some scallions, some kim or nori. Sesame oil is essential, as well as my mom's favorite add-in, ground sesame seeds, either pulsed in a food processor or in a mortar and pestle. Once the garnishes are prepared, the broth should be ready to strain through either a cheesecloth or just a fine mesh sieve. So we're going to season the broth with pepper and a light Korean soy sauce made for soups called kukkanjang and some salt. Taste and fine tune the seasoning. When ready to serve, bring the broth to a boil and add the duck. Give it a gentle stir to prevent clumping on the bottom. Boil them for about 2-3 to three minutes depending on your duck, just until they're soft and malleable. They should remain nice and chewy so don't overcook them. Then serve it up piping hot with all the condiments. This is pure comfort and warmth. A simple but wonderful meal to welcome in the new year. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about this Korean tradition and will feel encouraged to try some dakuk this year. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and see you next time.